This is Candy with eyes to Jesus.blogspot.com and welcome to 4th of July with eyes to Jesus. Now, because of the whole uh, fake demic hysteria and the breads and circuses that the media is feeding the masses, uh, what we can do today to celebrate this holiday is somewhat limited and that's not going to stop us from having a good 4th of July. So join me in this vlog and let's see how today goes. So I went out and did some work on the garden and uh, for today's workout I kept it nice and simple. I just did a half hour on the treadmill and then with tomorrow being Sunday I take Sundays off from working out. And we're just kind of having a relaxed, low-key day. And uh, in just a little while, um, maybe about a half hour to an hour from now, I'm actually going to get to work and I'm going to make a nice supper for my family. I spent the afternoon just doing some housework and just getting, you know, general chores done. But now I'm going to make supper. I've had two pounds of ground beef uh, defrosting in the fridge for a few days. I kept meaning to make meatloaf and things were coming up. So I thought, well, meatloaf actually sounds like a good supper to have today on July 4th. So I thought I'd show you just really quick how I make meatloaf. So in this big mixing bowl, I just have two pounds of raw ground beef that is defrosted. I just defrosted it in the fridge over a day or two. And then on my cutting board here, I chopped up a whole onion, one carrot, and one celery. So I'm just going to pop those in there with the raw meat. And then let's add some seasonings on top of that. So I like to do a teaspoon of thyme. And I'll do the leaves like this or powder, either one. And then a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then a teaspoon of sea salt. This one is almost empty. All right, and then on top of that, I like to add one cup of milk. I like to use whole milk. And then you can do some breadcrumbs, but I like to do a half cup of oats right on top of that. And then lastly, we need to add one egg. So make sure your hands are clean and you have all rings and watches and stuff off like I do. And I'm just going to break up this egg yolk on top of this mixture. And now I'm going to get in here with my hands and I'm going to mix together this meatloaf. It's the only way to do it. Alright, now once you have it mixed together, just have a buttered baking pan of your choice. I'm just using, uh, I guess it's maybe an 11 by 13 ish type pan. Uh, you can use a bread loaf pan, you can even use a cookie pan uh, or a pizza pan. Just make sure there's some type of edge or lip around it because uh, this is going to put off some fat and liquid as it cooks. So I'm just forming it into a semi-loaf shape and moving it here to the pan. So I'm going to form my meatloaf into a loaf. There we go. Now before I do my next step, I need to thoroughly wash my hands. And I find washing my hands uh, when I'm dealing with meat like this, instead of using just your general hand soap, I use Dawn dish soap to get all the grease off of my hands from this. So I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll move to the next step. So now i got my hands all washed. And the next thing I'm going to do with this meatloaf is I'm just going to take a small can of tomato paste and I'm using a tablespoon and I'm just going to ice this whole meatloaf in the tomato paste. Ta-da! 
The meatloaf is now ready to go into the oven. Now going in the oven with the meatloaf over to the side here, I have a large cookie pan and I just have about five pounds of white russet potatoes on there. I just washed them and poked them. So I'm gonna have both of these in the oven together because they can both cook at the same temperature for the same amount of time. So the meatloaf and the potatoes are going to go into the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour and a half. And I just now took the meatloaf and the potatoes out of the oven. Uh, clearly we won't be eating all of these potatoes today, but when I bake potatoes, I like to bake a whole bunch uh, and then store some in the refrigerator. So now I'm just going to, while these are cooling, <laughs> While these are cooling and my husband made his special, special appearance, <laughs> um, I'm going to get some green beans going and then we're going to eat. Meanwhile, it is raining outside really heavy. So as my husband pointed out, that's going to uh, make fireworks nice and safe because things are going to be wet. So hopefully we're going to get some good firework action tonight. All right, electricity just went out, so uh, I think that's our cue that we might as well uh, head out and get some ice cream and then uh, go uh, drive and find a place to watch some fireworks we'll for use, tonight. We'll use fireworks for lights. Firework lights. Meanwhile, at the gas station, whole bunch of fireworks like this coming up from people's backyards all over the place. It's really cool. And judging from our porch light, we can see that electricity is back on. It is almost 11 o'clock at night, but uh, me suspects the fireworks are going to be going until at least midnight. You are good. You are yeah. good. You are good. <laughs>